plan. Good morning and welcome back. Last weekend we were out prepping the yard. I know I got out in the yard. Now it's time to talk about landscaping. That's our next task. So Mark's here, of course, from Earlway. Mark good Tom's morning. good to see you again. Good to see so, you. So Mark, you have some tips for us from planting and ideas for planting in shade and sun, and then just tips on how to get things started so they grow for us. Yep, exactly. So we've worked in the yard, we fertilize the yard, we've done our weeding and all that. And so folks are starting to come in right now wanting to come up with plans for landscapes around their house. May, it might have been old product that might be in there or they're in a new home, a lot of new homes out here in Grimes and Falls. So folks are wanting ideas what they can do for their for their plantings. And what I like to keep it simple and, and, uh, and if I, I ask of them to bring in a photo of those areas and we can work just right off of that. Oh, so, so you just look at the picture and you're like, yep. oh, well, these so, plants could go here. Like in front of your there. house, if you just wanted to do a, re a nice new look in there, just bring us a photo and we can work off of that. The main thing is just to keep it simple, okay. all right? A lot of folks like to overdo it and just plant, 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 and then it overgrows, then you're out there and have to redo it all over again. Mm -hmm. So a um, couple of good things to keep in mind is let us know how much space you got, all right, so we don't overplant plant in there. And then our sunlight conditions, all right? So we've kind of got a east-north exposure plant material that's kind of a shady area. And then, of course, in the south and the west is all your sunny product and yeah. so forth. So um, we've kind of laid out a little bit of something here for you, so a little bit of color if you were going to do a shady area and all that. These are some plants you'd yeah, recommend? Yeah, your boxwoods will tolerate some, the shade if they want, and they'll tolerate the sun as well. We popped a little bit of color in there with azaleas that are starting to bloom in your hostas. Mm -hmm. But when you go to plant today, it may look a little thin when yeah. you put it in your space. But here again, I just want to make sure that we don't plant, 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 and then overgrow in all that space, all right? And so it looks a little thin, but we keep it neat and simple so that you're not out there down the road always having to prune deadhead and cut back so that it always looks nice and thin. Okay. All right. All right. Sounds good. So when we do go to plant, we're planting two times the size of your Yep. So plant. a lot of our soil around here is compact. We talk about that all the time. Dig your holes twice the size of the pot, mm -hmm. all right, so that we can backfill with a good planting mix. I like to use structure in every hole that we dig. That breaks down all the compaction, all the clay soil. So it drains well and the okay. roots can stretch out real nice. And then use your plant start. That's your rooting hormone that we like to recommend. That's going to stimulate the roots. Put that on every two to three weeks all through the growing season. Okay. All right. So it looks nice like that all the time for you. That works. Okay. So what about a sunny all right, side so of your here house? Again, so if, uh, I've just got a few plants here. We're going to warm it up a little bit. Okay. This is a barberry and always kind of layer your, your plant material if you've got a nice four or six foot bed. Mm -hmm. Those are some pillar barberries that give you a nice little pop of red. That'll be the back of your, maybe it's up against the shed. Okay. Somebody wants to add a little bit of color. Here's a nice little bit of some spireas. That's Big Bang. Yep. That's got a nice little color to it. And then you can always add, oh, I don't know, people like to drop oh, in daylilies day all over the place. Is it too early to put those in? Well, next week looks a little cooler and all that. Yeah. If you want to add some color into your landscapes, there's some roses always nicely. Okay. Front of the house, a lot of people are on the corner of the house like to drop a little accent piece. This is a dwarf Korean lilac tree that you could put on the corner of your house to give a little bit of height, mm -hmm. give you some color there again. You could add perennials all the way around yeah. the edge of it just to give you some color. Okay. And just space. Space, space. is key because everything's going to grow. And then these plants in particular right here are good for the sunny sides sunny side, of your house. Yeah, okay. You can get a lot of heat. South They'll tolerate and west. that okay. really, really nice space. Patience. Let it fill in so that you're not out there having to go out there and maintain and prune later. Yeah, and you said the first year there might be some pruning and maintaining, but after that, it's just, it it's does all good its thing. Go. Yes. Okay, awesome. Well, thank you for the suggestions. You. If you would like to find out more about what Mark has shared today, of course, you can reach out to him or any of your local Earl May locations, and they will help you out. Have a great day. We'll be back after this. This segment sponsored by Earl May.